Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. Today I'm doing a video that I probably don't really want to be making, a video that I didn't have planned obviously, and that's to talk about the whole Jack Grealish sort of incident that happened at the weekend. Firstly, going to address the hat. don't normally wear hats, although it is a nice hat because it's sponsored by Luke. Uh, Max 20 is always for 20% off. Um, but basically, I shaved my head. If you watched the, uh, the previous video, you'll know why. Um, you'll be able to see that. Um, on Friday, the video's out Friday, 6pm, please do subscribe, it's, a bit, it's just a mental video, shave my head. <sighs> but yeah, stay tuned for that, subscribe if you are new, if you do want to enjoy the video, please do leave a like, quick shout out to One Football. obviously there's not a lot of football, apart from in the Belarusian Premier League, whatever the hell it is, um, so yeah, feel free to download One Football. still, there's lots of articles on there, um, about Grealish, about Villa, All-Star 11s, you know, going back in the day, looking at old games or things like that. So it's still a good app to have even when there is no football. So download one football. Top link in the description. Without further ado, on to the bit of the video that we're all here to see. Let's talk about Jack Grealish. So if you've been living under a rock, you probably know, but if you don't, um, Grealish travelled to Dickens Heath in Shirley um, on Saturday night, Sunday morning from Barn Green where he lives, which is literally like a 15, 20 minute journey. Um, he, he said it was to meet his mates um, which obviously Boris literally said that is one thing that you shouldn't do. Um, you've only got to leave the house to go shopping, exercise an hour a day, and that's pretty much it. Um, and he just disregarded that completely, went to go and see his mate. Some people are saying it was Ross McCormack, but I'm going to be totally honest, I don't really know who it was exactly. Not that it matters at all. And he crashed his car into two parked cars. There's loads of pictures of the car. It's not exactly massively smashed up, but there's a little bit of damage to the wheel, and, you know, he's caused damage end of the day, he's caused damage. This is just really bad, obviously, because Grealish, to young Villa fans, you go around Villa Park, there's a Grealish shirt, Grealish shirt, Grealish shirt. He's the main man, all the kids look up to him, um, you know, and I do too, and I love the guy, but that's not the actions of a role model, that's not a, what a role model should be doing. It's not role model behavior at all by any stretch of the imagination. I think the thing that gets me mostly is the fact that literally 12 hours before this whole incident happened, he posted a video on Twitter. I'll, I'll just show the video. To help save lives, you must stay at home. Only leave your house to buy food, to buy medicine or to exercise. And always remember to stay at least two metres apart. This is urgent. Protect the NHS. Stay home. Save lives. So he, he, he said, stay at home, you know, do this, protect the NHS, which is brilliant. But obviously didn't mean it, it wasn't sincere, and you can just tell that his agent has given him like a script and just said, Jack, read that, put it on Twitter, it's great for your public image. And he's, he's not taken it in, into his head, he's not thought, oh, that actually applies to me, he's, he's thought, oh, that, that doesn't apply to me because I'm Jack Grealish, and I'm not hammering him, I'm not going in, he deserves to get hammered for what he's done right, but I'm not, I'm not going to go massively in on him because obviously he is a role model even though he hasn't acted like it in here, um, but, hmm. So he's let himself down massively because we all know the history that Grealish has got where, you know, back in the day when he was 18, 19, 20, go out on the lash and do loads of bad things, get drunk, etc. And in the last four years, you know, we've heard nothing of that. You know, he's gone quiet. You think, ah, oh, he's actually finally grown up. Fair play to him. Um, he issued an apology. He released on Twitter and Instagram and all of his social media. So if you, have, if you haven't heard that, here it is. Hi, everybody. Um... I just want to do a quick video message just to say how deeply embarrassed I am by about what has happened this weekend. Um, I know it's a tough time for everyone at the moment, been locked indoors for so long and I obviously just got a call off a friend um, asking to go around to his uh, and I stupidly agreed to do so. Um, I don't want anyone to make the same mistake that I did so... Obviously, urge everyone to stay at home and, and follow the rules and the guidelines of what we've been asked to do. Um, I know for a fact that I'll be doing that in the near future now. And obviously, like I said, I urge everyone to do the same. Um, I hope everyone can accept my apology and uh, we can move on from this. And hopefully, obviously, in the near future, we can all be out enjoying ourselves again um, once this is all um, boiled over. So cheers, guys, and thank you. The club also released a statement. Um, it was obviously the classic screen that we never want to see when it comes to club statements. But if you haven't seen it, this is what it said. Aston Villa is deeply disappointed that one of our players ignored the government's guidelines on staying at home during the coronavirus crisis. Club captain Jack Grinch has accepted that his decision to leave his house 
was wrong and entirely unnecessary. It breached the government guidelines which are clear and should be adhered by everybody. The player will be disciplined and fined with the proceeds donated to the University Hospitals charity in Birmingham, which is fair enough, fair play. It's a short statement, but you know, he's got to be disciplined. Like I said, I'm not hammering him because I know that he's a, he's a top man. He's, he's the best player Villa have got. He's their star boy. He's their poster boy. He's a local lad and I fully respect what he's done for the club and he's our best player and he's pretty much single-handedly kept us in touch this season even though we are in the relegation zone but what he's done here like I said earlier he's let himself down he's let Aston Villa down he's let the fans down because at the end of the day like he said in his apology it is embarrassing end of the day he's been an idiot we all know that um, and he's made himself look stupid but some of the replies on Twitter and Twitter has just been quite sensational since this has happened I think a lot of things from United fans are saying, oh, this isn't the actions of a United player. Jack, if you want to come to United, you shouldn't be doing this sort of things. Well, he's not a United player, so United fans can just shut up. The sense of, like, entitlement from United fans because of this is a little bit embarrassing, I can't lie. And yeah, if Villa do go down, there's no doubt about it, he will leave. But the current moment, is he's not a United player, so... It's a load of rubbish, in my opinion. Another thing that was, <laughs> was quite funny was, um, you know, rival fans... Um, you've probably also seen the picture of the, the, the Blues fan who's gone up to the car as if it's like a tourist attraction who's literally gone out of the house himself which he said Grealish shouldn't do um, and took a photo with it and put it on Twitter. Don't know. Yeah, so that's a weird one. Um, end of the day, he's Aston Villa captain. Is it captain's behaviour? No. Is it a role model's behaviour? No. Um, should he be stripped of the captaincy? I've seen a few things on Twitter. For me, like I said, it's not the actions of a captain and... I'm kind of 50-50 on it. If, if you compare this to, like, Tyrone Mings, who comes across as a really clever guy, he's done loads of things for charity, um, and he, he comes across as if he's got his head really screwed on. That's not a dig at Greenish, because he's done wonderful things for charity and things like that, but I'm 50-50 on the whole stripping the captaincy thing. I really am. I'm going to leave a poll, actually. Would you strip Grealish of the Aston Villa captaincy? Let me know. It's the sort of thing you kind of expect from a youth player, like, I don't know, he's, he's 16, 17, he's really naive in the, in the under 23s or under 18s, you know, not many people have heard of him and he's just gone out on the lash and he shouldn't have done. But he's our most well-known player and it's just not what you expect. We all thought Grealish had sort of grown up and he's 24 and 24 isn't young. He's not a young player anymore. He's, 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 he's matured. That's what we thought anyway. That's what we, we thought, but... Clearly not. And God knows what this is going to do for his um, England hopes. Like Gareth Southgate, I can, you, can, you just know he takes this stuff very, very seriously. And so he should. Um, so it's good that Euro 2020 isn't this year. Because if it was, I think Grealish would be in a little bit of trouble. Um, obviously it is next year. Depends what happens either this year, next year, where he goes, who he plays for, um, for Euro 2021. So we'll see what happens there with his England hopes. But it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have done him no favours at all. But I'm going to reiterate it again. I love Jack Grealish. I think he's been an idiot. We all know that. I still think he's, you know, he's our best player. I still respect him massively. He's been an idiot, like I said. Um, but... Pfft. That, that's just my opinion. Um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you're a rival fan or if you're a Villa fan, do let me know. Um, I'd be interested to see what you guys are saying. Of course, vote on the poll. Should you be stripped of his captaincy? And like I said, if you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Keep an eye out for the shave in the head. Oh, Christ, nearly, re <laughs> nearly revealed it then. Um, do subscribe for that video out of Friday, 6 p.m. Honestly, trust me, do not miss it. It's a, it's a bit of a mad one. Get yourself some Luke stuff. Download one football. Thank you very much for watching. Up the villa.